Dear Christian friends, I'm Elder Prospero from the Healing Christian Center in the United Kingdom and welcome you to the ECC Discipleship Leaders Training, session one of seven sessions. This is a video for training and can be used in conjunction with the PDF, the manual, which can be requested from the Healing Christian Center. And it's useful for a time like this when discipleship, there's a crisis of discipleship in the church. And this can be used to train others who will then be able to train others. The values of discipleship ministry and the elements of a cell church and what is a cell will be covered in the introductory portion, which is expanded in the manual. The values of discipleship or cell ministry are one is Christ-centered, two, there's community building, three, discipleship developing, as in Matthew 28, verses 19 to 20, Jesus said, you go and make disciples of all nations. Ministry membership, Ephesians chapter 4, verses 11 to 12, talks about the fivefold ministry. Some are called to be apostles, some pastors, some prophets, some evangelists, some teachers. The fifth will be multiplication vision. And next will be winning the lost, as in Mark chapter 16, verse 15. The elements of a cell church are that it needs to have a vision. Proverbs 29, verse 18. There's a leadership structure which means that it's supported by the pastors and elders who appoint various leaders who then oversee the others like the Jethro principle in the Bible. There's the Holy Spirit life and the Holy Spirit is the one who gives life to the church. And so the discipleship groups and the church needs the Holy Spirit as Jesus said in Acts chapter one verse eight, told the disciples to wait until they have received power when the Holy Spirit comes on them and then they will be his witnesses in Jerusalem, in Judea and Samaria and to the uttermost part of the earth. Bible study is very important in the church and there's also an equipping track in Ephesians chapter 4 verse 12. It talks about until we all attain to the fullness of the measure of the stature of Christ. So it's equipping the church, each and every one, to be equipped to do the next step, which is evangelism outreach. And it's a task of the whole church. Jesus told his disciples to go. All the 12 apostles were commissioned to go. Worship is very important in a church and prayer because we are not fighting flesh and blood we are fighting it's a spiritual warfare and without prayer the church cannot move on what is a cell we look at biologically a cell is a life of the body and the cells in the body have the dna as the code for each organ in the body and there's a purpose of every cell in the body so in the church the main purpose are ministry and mission matthew chapter 28 verse 19. so the ministry is edification of one another within the church the body of christ and the mission is to go out sent out and someone says that church is the only organization that is set up for non-members so the main gist of all 
this training uh, on two key words, ministry and mission. And sometimes we can substitute two E's. That's edification uh, for ministry and evangelism for mission. Unity is important as in the body, so in the church. Revelations chapter 3 verse 1. Mark chapter 3 verses 14 to 15. That sense of belonging is needed for every member to feel that sense of belonging in the church. And when we have these, we have a body impact, which is the fifth point. We make disciples, so the new converts are then trained to mature. And then when they are mature, they are also sent out, mobilized. And Jesus showed a master plan of that. He trained them and then sent them out. And the apostles followed. So the vision is to go and make disciples. And without vision, people perish, as in Proverbs chapter 11, verse 30. And this is the text, the main vision of the church on this earth is to go and make disciples anything else that the church will major on to the exclusion of this then would have missed the mandate that is the great commission given to the church discipleship strategy has various steps to success and we do have encounter retreats which will be mentioned later on in expansion and there's a purpose of discipleship cells meeting, which we'll mention. There are various steps to success, which are as follows. Christ's mandate is in Matthew 28, verses 19 to 20. Let's go and make disciples of all nations. So the first step is to reach out, is to go. The second is when people get born again to root them that's in mark chapter 4 verse 17 and psalm 1 verses 1 to 3 and the third step is to raise disciples as in ephesians chapter 4 verse 12 it says some have been given to be apostles some teachers some prophets some pastors some evangelists and so on, the fivefold ministry, and then to release those people to their areas of calling. So it's a purposeful living and transforming life. There's the encounter weekend, and what's an encounter weekend? Maybe somebody could tell us who has had an encounter weekend before, and why it is necessary, as in Colossians chapter 2, verse 6. And also in John chapter 8, verse 31 to 32. And Jacob had an encounter with God on Gen Genesis 32, 22 to 30. There are various themes which are covered, including baptism with the Holy Spirit, with signs following Father, heart of God, forgiveness, receiving and giving, breaking curses and strongholds, deliverance, inner healing, as in Mark chapter 4, verse 14 to 20. And who is the encounter weekend for you? Church leaders, men, women, youth, all have separate encounters weekend. And what the cost depends on and and the schedule also depends on what leadership plans and where it depends on the venue chosen by leadership and why which we have mentioned is for spiritual renewal and when as decided by leadership usually once in a year and how we get there by usually traveling either by coach or people go by car and we may also have a leaders encounter, which is only for leaders. The cell meeting, the purpose and structure. The purpose is basically on their two key purposes of discipleship groups. 
one is edification and the second is evangelism so if you forget everything about this presentation which i hope you not remember the discipleship cells are for edification and also for evangelism that's making disciples evangelize and maturing them by training them mobilizing them sending them out as in matthew 28 verse 19 and the multiplication continues so disciples also make disciples and the church grows so the structure of discipleship meeting which will be covering in the in depth in the next sessions will be welcome worship word and witness any questions and discussions at this stage thank you for further reading session one training manual which is a pdf version and the next session will be on session two references from the cell leaders manual copyright to healing christian center